Hey Fallers, TN Newton here, and I've got a lot I want to talk about regarding the development of Pines Quest 2D today. So instead of giving you a giant wall of text to read, here's a video update that you can listen to instead. With some visual aids in case you feel like looking at the screen. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. This past month was almost entirely dead as far as major progress in developing the game. And here's why. My duties include programming, scripting cutscenes and dialogue, mapping with pre-existing assets, new character portraits, and additional enemy artwork. Those first three things are the most important. However, over the last month I've only been able to work on the second one, dialogue and cutscene scripting. This is because the other two rely on my contributors creating new pixel art assets for me to work with, and right now I only have two of these contributors. The first just spent a whole month moving and now only finally got settled in his new place a couple of days ago. The move caused him to be so busy that he couldn't work on anything during this time. Meanwhile, the second was stuck somewhere without reliable internet access for also the entire month. So not only were they unable to help me with making the assets necessary for me to work on programming and mapping more of the game, we were barely able to stay in contact with each other. And if that wasn't bad enough, a couple of weeks ago, my original script was completely corrupted and lost. This script included all of the cutscenes and dialogue for the first five dungeons, about half of Dungeon 6, a very plot-important scene between Dungeon 6 and 7, the beginning of Dungeon 7, and the beginning of Dungeon 10. Yeah, I kinda skip around a bit when writing. But one night I was working on the script as usual, saved it, woke up the next morning, tried to open the file, and it was blank. Somehow it was all gone, and there was no way to recover it. Needless to say, I was pretty upset. Rest assured, this taught me a valuable lesson about backing up and managing critical PQ2D-related files, though. And why I should have been using Google Docs instead of my own computer's crappy word processor. My original plan was to have the full game finished by the last day of May. That way, the first two weeks of June could be spent beta testing and making sure the game is as bug-free and polished as possible before releasing it to the public on June 18th. But now, because of everything I just talked about... That might no longer be possible. We could be looking at another delay in the release of the full game. Now, before you start crying or getting angry or calling this game the Gravity Falls equivalent to South Park's The Fracture Butt Hole, or God forbid Mighty Number no. 9, seeing as how I originally, originally wanted to have the full game done by the end of last year, this news isn't all doom and gloom. My two pixel art asset contributors are back, and mostly ready to start helping me again. Well, as of this video, I've managed to rewrite everything from my lost script, except for the beginnings of Dungeons 7 and 10. In other words, things are pretty much all back on track now, we just lost about a month of development time. So, in order to make up for that, if the game is delayed again past 618, something else will release on that date instead. And that will be... The Extended Demo! Basically, if the full game isn't out on 618, the demo version will be updated to include the first five dungeons of the game instead of just the first three. Now I understand, two more dungeons maybe isn't all that exciting, but there's a very important reason why the demo actually can't include more than the first five levels. This is because the end of Dungeon 6 is a critical moment when the game's story really, really starts to pick up. If the extended demo was twice the length of the original and included the first six dungeons, it would end on a huge plot twist cliffhanger similar to, say, the end of Not What He Seems, including the grueling several month hiatus that came immediately after. And if there's anything I don't want to do, it's recreate that torturous experience that Gravity Falls fans, including myself, do not look back on fondly. As such, Dungeon 6 and onward will remain exclusive to the full game only. Finally, I'll be able to say for sure whether or not a delay is happening by the middle of May. And if it is, I should be able to give out a new release date for the full game by then as well. Thank you all so much for the following the development of Pines Quest 2D, and of course being so understanding and patient. I'll be doing my absolute best to make sure that no matter when the game is done, it's well worth the wait. As always, stay weird, fallers.